everybody, K. Pete here. Welcome back to another More Walk Monday. Uh, this is a fun one, you guys. First of all, it's St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Yes, okay, today, when you're watching this, is not St. Patty's Day, but I'm recording this on St. Patty's Day. Ergo, the luck of the Irish and this, which, bear with me, I'm, yeah. So what I have for you today is um, Game of Thrones related, which is based on a novel series, uh, one of my absolute favorite series so far. Although, I'm current on the show, but I've only read book one. I have two right here, ready to go with my Pokemon bookmark, and it, we're, we're gonna get, we're gonna get it. I am so excited. I wanted to binge read the entire series before season eight came out, but I, uh, neglected to realize exactly how lengthy the books are, although they are a fantastic read. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it done, but I'm sure as heck going to try and forgive me for this. Um, so what we have for you today is Mark's and my predictions on the last 33 remaining characters, top characters that, well, we think are top characters and who we think is going to live and who we think is going to die. So spoiler alert, you guys. Um, if you have not seen the series, you may not want to watch this. Um, if you have seen the series, we're, we're guessing here. We're not, you know, we're not calling everything, but we have a little bit of a different tactic. See, Mark's page is already in here. See, he's already done his. Mine is right here. We're going to be doing mine right now. Um, the deal is we've got lives column and we have a dies column but what we're going to do is on the dies column we're going to try and organize it to the first death in the season to the very last death of the season um lives you know order doesn't matter because well they live so let's get to this okay my pile of names is in no particular order but First, we have Jorah Mormont. Now, Mark just went with his gut. He just went with his gut, and he put names, and he just... And I don't think he even did the dies in order, but that's okay. I'm going to, because why not? Um, my approach with this is going to be a little more author-based, and I am an author. What would I do? But I am not even close, and... Yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to do worse off. And I know the books are the books and the movie is the movie or show is the show, but yeah. I wish I would have read all the books before doing this because I have so many questions. But we'll get into that. Okay, so Joram Mormont. Oh, maybe I should pick out all the li lives first. Okay, so... I do believe Jorah's going to die, but we can't glue him on yet because I don't know the order. We'll just go with it. Okay. We're just going to grab him and go. I'll organize the dies collar in later. Cersei Lannister. Hmm. If only. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Gendry. Sweet Gendry. I just got a feeling. Grey Worm. I just got a feeling. Davos Seaworth. God, he's like a Jorah Mormont. I want them both to live, but I don't think that they're gonna. Masande. No, Masande. Oh, Masande. You know what? I think Masande might just make it. I don't know. She's got all that experience of Essos, and she can speak all these languages. She would be such an asset to whoever lands on the Iron Throne. Am I right? Okay, you're on Greyjoy. Oh, I can't stand him. Theon Greyjoy. I honestly think he might make it. He's gone through so much. Sansa. Sansa Stark. Oh, okay. This one hurts, you guys. The mountain. I, 
Oh, no, not the mountain. Here, let's do both of these together. The hound and the mountain. Good game, bull, right? Whoop, whoop. Okay, so you can go there, because we, we love to hate you, too. The hound. You guys... I want to say he lives, but I don't think that he does. I've got my own... I've got my own guess on this one. All right, I'm going to say it. So, again, I don't... We're, I'm guessing. I don't know if this is really going to happen, but I think they're going to duke it out, and they're going to kill... No, mountains. Mountains. Mountains going to kill the hound. And then Arya is going to come in and just like... What did it all? And take out the mountain. And avenge the guy that was on her list that she took off her list. Sandor. Sandor, go game. Okay. Um, I'm going to save that one. Save a couple of these. Okay, Varys. I really want Varys to make it. Now, we did see in the um, trailer that he was hiding down in the crypts but there were no other big hitters in there it was just Varys so it, basically everybody in there is like oh no there were Gilly Gilly and Sam, um, baby Sam were in there hmm where's Gilly and baby Sam where's Gilly and baby Sam there you are Gilly and baby Sam Varys 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 oh I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm going to leave him for a little bit later. Brienne of Toth. I love Brienne. I just, I want her to, I want her to live. Pod. Oh, I'm Pod. I don't know if Pod's going to make it, guys. Bronn. Dang. Here's another one. I, okay, we can put her in the Melisandre. Gosh, she's a good one to hate. Bron. Oh, but that makes me think that Varys is going to kick it too, because remember that talk they had on the mountain cliff where she's like, I had to come to this country to die, and so did you. But she didn't say it was going to happen like soon. Oh, fine. We'll put Varys in the death column too. God, now I got to organize these people? This is so not going to be fun. Yara! Oh, but she would be really good to rule. But Euron's got her. So basically, it is Theon. Well, Theon manned up at the last of the last there. He manned up, you know, because the guy tried to junk punch him and he was like, ha ha. <laughs> no, you can't get me. Even if you didn't have. It would. Anyways, okay. Yara Greyjoy. Yara Greyjoy. Okay. Is Theon going to be able to save her from Euron before he takes her out? Or is she going to go down and he's going to rule? Which... Okay. We're just going to do it. Here I am back to Bronn. Uh, um... Braun's one of the maybe Braun will go out taking down Tyrion. Okay, let's just do this because I yeah. Tyrion's not going. Oh, here's another easy one. Sorry. Sorry, Beric Dondarian. You're I don't mean that you're easy to let me move this up here. You're a very, very awesome character, Mr. Beric Dondarian. I just don't think you're gonna come out on top of this bad boy, because this is this is, this is a battle. This is a major battle. Okay, so, Esther Kyburn, he's another one. I'm going through my list here. God, I keep holding Bron. Okay, Bron and Tormund. Crap, you guys. Bron and Tormund. I want both of these guys to live because they are so awesome. Although, Tormund's, I, there's, he is hoping something's going to happen with Miss Brienne of Tarth. And, well, I think she's going to make it. 
she's not going to be shacking up with Tormund anytime soon, I don't think. Because her heart's set on somebody else. Okay, so should I just flip a coin? Is one of these guys going to live? One of these guys going to not? Oh, I don't know what to do. Because I want to be right. I'm going to say Tormund makes it. And the only reason I decided to go with that is because they have not introduced anybody even close to the level of leadership for the wildlings who's still alive. So you have a bunch of wildlings with no leader. And I don't, I don't know that they're ready to mesh into Southern society, you know? So I don't know. I kind of think they need him for a few more years of guidance into the fray. So Braun. Braun might actually show a change of heart and save Tyrion and end his own life. I don't know. He, he might die defending Tyrion. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Okay. So Mr. Samuel Tarly. I just think he's going to make it. He's a smart one. Okay, so this one sucks. But Rhaegal. We have Drogon and Rhaegal, the two beautiful dragons left. And I think Rhaegal's going to bite it. Um, there's going to be the massive battle of dragons. And I just, I think... Obviously, the I, I think Viserion's going to go, and Viserion's not in here. Sorry, guys. Um, damn, I suppose Viserion should have been in here. Um, Viserion's going to have to go, and I think Rhaegal's going to go too. Okay, Arya. Next is Arya Stock. Arya's really badass. She's going to. She's going to live. So now we have two that are also pulling at my heartstrings. Um, we have Jamie Lannister and Bran Stark. Um, Jamie's turned to the good side and is fighting on the right side of the, the fence here now, but I don't know. Is he going to die in Bran's arms? I is he actually going to make it? I think, I personally, I think he's going to be the one to kill his sister. And that would be perfect. Um, but, doesn't mean he's going to live. And then Bran, he's so instrumental to helping people get where they need to go. And he's the only one who's the seer in the war. Because in the books... All the Stark kids had ward ability, not ward abilities, but is it see, the, the sight or, or the ability to work? Or was it both? They had that to some capacity. All the Stark kids had that. But in the show, it's different. So again, this is who's going to live and die in the show. But this is, this is me being positive. And I'm going to say both Bran and Jamie are going to make it. Probably wrong. Now, you guys are going to be so upset. We're down to the last five. And uh, let me just let me just get this out. So we have Jon Snow and Ghost. We have Daenerys and Drogon. And the Night King. Okay. So this could go one of two ways. Um... The lore of the show brings out Azura High, okay? And I know the, the, the story about Azura High that, what's his dinger? <laughs> Sorry, don't get mad at me. Um, I know Azura High, I can't think of the name right now. He sacrificed his wife and they made the pact with the Night King and all was, all was good, all was, you know good in the world and it was fantastic. Maybe, maybe I should put Viserion with the Night King then. 
because they're like a pack. They're 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 a twofer. Um, Daenerys and Drogon, John and Ghost, and the Night King and I think they're two first. Oh, and then there's Nymeria. I forgot to make a thing for Nymeria. Nymeria lives. Yay! Okay. So I'm assuming that this is going to come back into play. Now, I, I'm so mad at myself that I'm doing this now when I have not read all the books. I want to read all the books because I want to see how they differ from the movie. Because in the movie, they are making a big deal about this. And, Mo no, um, Missande said, no, you're interpreting that wrong. It could be prince or princess. And if that's the case, then Azura High could still work, but the wife could sacrifice the husband. Now, here's the other thing. Is Daenerys really pregnant? And if Daenerys is pregnant, would George R. R. Martin actually have John kill Daenerys if she's pregnant? Would he have would he have John sacrifice Daenerys? Or would it be Daenerys sacrificing John? Here's the part that bugs me. Did it say in the book? Oh, you might have interpreted that wrong. It could be prince or princess. If they didn't say it in the book, then I think John's going to kill Daenerys. If they said it in the book, then I think Daenerys is going to kill John. Either way, I think that's a thing. I think somebody's going to sacrifice somebody. I think there's going to be peace in the land because they're going to make a new pact. And that's going to that's gonna happen. If Daenerys dies, where's Drogon going to go? Who's, who's going to man the dragon? I guess Jon could try and man the dragon. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, well, okay, that can make sense. If Daenerys goes, Jon could have Ghost and Drogon. If Daenerys goes, or Jon goes, Danny could have Drogon and Ghost. Because Ghost could be tied to Jon's baby, too. I don't know. Cheese whiz and rice crackers. So that could be a thing. That way we can keep both Drogon and Ghost alive. And they could go t to whoever's left alive. Okay. I like that. Only because more, more of them live. And I like these two. So we'll put these guys here. Danny or John. John or Danny. Danny or John. Who's going to make it? Watch. Wa oh my gosh. Watch them do the complete opposite in the show that Martin does in the book. I'm just going to call it. I'm sorry. I think that's it. I think more people should have died, though. I don't see him leaving that many alive. Anyways, so now we got to put it in order of deaths. Let me take five, and I'm going to glue all the living on. All right, so we've got our lives column glue it on. Let's organize the dies in order. All right. I think I have, I think the, dies I have the dies down. down. So first, so first Grey Worm's going to go. go. Davos. Davos. Beric, Dondarrion, Dondarrion Podrick, Podrick, Euron Greyjoy, Euron Greyjoy and Yara Greyjoy, and Yara Greyjoy. Melisandre, Melisandre and, Varys, and Varys, Master Kyburn, Master Kyburn the, Hound, the Hound, the Mountain, Mountain, Bronn, Bronn, Rhaegal, Rhaegal, and Jorah. And Jorah. I think that's I it. Think that's it. It's not. It's not confirmed. Confirmed. Until until I, glue it, I glue it down. <laughs> now I'm gonna glue. Now I'm gonna glue them down. So I did change the order just a little bit. Um, I put Grey Worm on the top. Beric Dondarrion, Melisandre, Davos Seaworth, Podrick, Yara, Euron. And now there's battle at Winterfell and battle at the Red Keep. And I think that I'm going to say Varys, Bronn, Tyrion, Arya. Yeah, I'm thinking they go to the Red Keep. They're, they're the little super secret squirrel party that go to the Keep. Oh, and the Hound. Um, to, ooh, and maybe, maybe Jamie. 
Yes, Jamie. Um, they go they go to the keep for their super secret squirrel stuff. And that's where Varys dies. Oops, sorry. Um, that's where the hound dies. Obviously the mountain and Bronn saving Tyrion. Um, and then Master Kyburn, because while Glagane Bowl's going on, somebody has got to be protecting, you know, Miss Cersei and Kyburn's like attached to her hip all the time anyway, so then Kyburn, then Jamie takes out his sister. And then back at wherever with the Night King battle, Rhaegal goes down, then John goes down. That is my that is my guess. And I hope that I am wrong on some of these and that some of these live. I don't know what's going to happen. But again, this is what I'm guessing for the show, not the book. Um, I honestly think that it would be very, very funny if the book had Danny and Joe in reverse. Joe, Danny and John in reverse. Um, I think that'd be interesting. And knowing them and how they like to change things up, that could be a thing. Anywho, that's my, that's my list. Now we're going to put it in here, along with Mark's. It's in. Now I'm going to seal it. And it's done. Both of our, both of our predictions are in here. I will open this up. Let's write on the front here. I'm going to waste an entirely nice thing. We're going to do... Game of Thrones. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Now we will open this back up when the series begins and we'll see where we're at and who scored. We're still a month before the show airs, so fingers crossed that I win. Stay safe, everybody. And happy St. Patrick's Day. I need a beer.